Hey everyone, today I'm going to cover diaphoretic herbs. I'll share their action as well as some examples and of course a precaution. Now for those of you who are new to herbs in general, diaphoretics will induce or promote perspiration. So when I think of a diaphoretic, I like to kind of break it down into two subcategories. We have relaxing diaphoretics as well as stimulating diaphoretics. So if we start with the relaxing diaphoretics, uh, those will open the pores and allow heat to be released, thus promoting perspiration. So some herbs that do contain that property would be these four over here. So today I have cayenne, uh, yarrow, German chamomile, and then hyssop. Now, if we switch to the other subcategory, which are stimulating diaphoretics, those will of course enter the bloodstream and as they are being eliminated through the sweat glands, they will actually stimulate the local nerves and bring heat to the surface. So some examples of the stimulating diaphoretics would be sage as well as thyme. Now, there are more herbs that do contain a diaphoretic property, but these are the ones I have readily available today. Now, as far as real life examples, Let's say you have hot, dry skin and a strong, frequent pulse. You will wanna reach for a more relaxing diaphoretic, which would be any of these four over here. Now on the flip side, let's say you have cold skin and a weak pulse. You will wanna to gravitate towards a stimulating diaphoretic. So either of these two over here. Now with herbs in general, there are always precautions and or contraindications. So when you do consider using a diaphoretic, I would strongly encourage you to not use it with a cathartic herb. And I'll explain what cathartic herbs are in another video, um, but the two actions together would result in excessive loss of fluid, and we don't want anyone to get dehydrated while they're trying to make themselves feel better, right? Uh, so just kind of a quick tip, but overall, I did just wanna let you know this video is for Educational purposes only, this information is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease.